Kamisha here. Welcome to STM Cakes, where I believe in working with what you have. And STM Cakes stands for Sweet Tooth Moist Cakes. If you are new here to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you all for so much support. Today's tutorial is going to be covering the basics of decorating a beautiful 8 inch 4 layer all vanilla with caramel filling birthday cake. It's going to be mainly on the white and gold kind of design concept. So if this is something that you absolutely love, just continue to watch. Before I go any further, I want to just say a quick prayer for all of us, myself and for you who are going to be listening to this video, that you may be continuously blessed. We want to welcome abundance in our life. We want to have faith. We want to keep hoping. We want to keep dreaming. And we want to keep continuously being persistent towards our goals and knowing that it is possible no matter the way things seem right now. All right, let's proceed. So today's cake i'm going i am using vanilla american buttercream if you would love to know how to make this or maybe even just tweak your recipe a bit maybe you feel like there is room for improvement or you just want to try something different please go ahead and check out my video here on my channel i think it's less sweet buttercream or something along with along the lines of buttercream but it's definitely there go ahead and check it out if you are interested i like to apply my buttercream to my cakes using the pipe and bag method and this is what works best for me i have tried just using the spatula to apply it but i find that the pipe and bag method allows me to evenly distribute the buttercream on the first go so i encourage you if you are a beginner to cake decorating i definitely would say to you to try the different methods and then see what works best for you and just go ahead and stick with that the trick to working with buttercream is actually there's no trick it's really just practice practice and practice like if you are someone who's going to easily give up because you're not getting it nice and smooth or the way that you're applying it maybe it's giving you a bit of issue trust me when i tell you this with time and consistent practice your work overall is going to get better and better and better trust me wherever you're starting today if it's floppy joppy as long as you continue to try and have the drive and the aspiration to make sure that you will achieve smooth buttercream or whatever your goal is trust me when i tell you it will happen now the tools that i use whenever i'm decorating uh well I'm applying my buttercream i use the offset spatula and also the scraper i found the scraper that i'm using to be really nice i've i have like multiple scrapers but i just like the way that this one in particular feels right and i'm not associated at all with the brand that makes them i, I mean this one at least i'm not even sure what it is um but i really like the way it feels i've been working with it for a while and it's become just my favorite scraper so i just apply patience towards this process of a process of smoothing out my buttercream so let me tell you a little bit about myself i'm kamisha i'm 35 while i'm making this video and i'm also a mom i'm a home-based baker slash entrepreneur and i started my journey in 2019 the reason i started was because i wanted to have better control of my time and i looked at life at that time it was like this cannot be life just you know work a full-time job until i'm 60 and then start to experience life i was i just wasn't digging that um i'm also a mom of two and I also wanted to make sure that if my child wasn't feeling well, I could be there. I wouldn't have to call in sick to anywhere or be dishonest and call in sick, I should say. And I just wanted to be able to be more available for my kids unap unapologetically and make sure that there was nothing ever stopping me from being there, just doing what I want and also earn, right? I wanted to have full control of how I earn not depending on anyone to pay me in particular once or twice for the month i wanted to be in control of the flow that money comes to me so with that i just started to pump myself up and i started with what i had at that time 
I feel so good that I've like shared that with you because I want you to, you know, see if you reside with me where you can, whether you are aspiring to be an entrepreneur or you've just begun and it's kind of rocky, I want you to know that this is a space for you because guess what? I totally understand and I know what it's like with the ups and downs, um, mentally, financially, everything. But I am here to tell you that it is definitely possible to become successful and content just trust me just hang in there okay hang in there all right so let's get back to caking it now where i'm at with this cake design is i'm using my very favorite stencil it could be because i don't really have a lot of stencils but this one for sure is definitely one of my favorite stencils um to apply the stencil print to a cake i would highly suggest that you have all the tools that you're going to need right by your side that way you're not running all over the kitchen and you also want to make sure that your cake has been chilled for at least two hours minimum in the refrigerator i do not Put it into the freezer for the two hours i refrigerate it for two hours then i go in and apply my stencil so for me i use my offset spatula scraper and i have at least four pins beside me and as mentioned everything is right there handy for me that all i have to do is stretch my hand get it and then continue to work i work as fast as possible but still efficiently because you want to make sure the print comes out nice but you do want to work with pace because you don't want the cake to start like uh getting back to room temperature and then the print from the stencil comes out messy so i'm just sharing with you what has worked for me so as you you're seeing here now i'm taking the pins out and once i take the pins out i'm going to just steadily take off the stencil and it will reveal to you the beautiful print just let me tell you, this stencil in particular, it's like amazing for either birthday cakes or even wedding cakes. Like I just absolutely love it. So as previously mentioned, whenever you are doing stenciling on a cake, make sure you have all your tools right beside you. Your cake has been refrigerated for at least two hours minimum and that's refrigerated and not frozen, okay? Since I've been doing cake decorating, like my work has transformed drastically over the past five years. There's a lot of cake designs that I look back on and I was like, oh my God, you know, I'm proud of what I did, but then I, I now see like, oh wow, I could have done this better. I could have done this better. So I just, I allow myself to enjoy where I'm at in creating and to make sure that I always find ways of being inspired, right? Because that's one way for you to become better as a creator. Um, in terms of like for my business, um, this is just hoping that, you know, maybe if you're thinking about once again, becoming an entrepreneur, whether it's a full-time baker, you're going to have to sit and really assess multiple ways that you can open opportunities for you to earn and not just, for example, from custom cakes right so a tip for you is maybe to even see if you can collaborate with supermarkets or a local supermarket a local convenience store um, you can offer bite-sized desserts there for the supermarket if you want to get like a product on their shelf you would likely have to make sure that you have barcodes for this product the product already has some history out there and I know that everywhere else is different in terms of what is possible from what's not possible because of laws and stuff but saying this to say that there are multiple ways that you could really extend opportunities in your business but you just have to be willing to try um sitting in defeat and just saying okay you know i thought this was a good idea and you know things aren't going the way i i would like for it to go like if we stay there in that mindset it's not going to help us to grow right it's going to cause us to be stagnant but trust me when i tell you like like i said i started out my journey with pretty much with not even pretty much with just two mixers and a big dream you understand nothing saved up literally nothing saved up your girl has mortgage strata and kids as mentioned but even though the start was rough for me and the journey has been like up and down i once again would not go back 
for anything. I love where I'm at. I, I appreciate the lessons that I've learned. And I just know just with so much more passion and heart that just don't give up. Woo! I, oh, I'm pouring. I am pouring into you today. Oh, all right. So this is how the stencil print came out. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm not even finished, okay? Now, let's accessorize this cake some more. And I'm going to be going in first of all with our very own Gold Rush Sprinkles hair from SDM Cakes, which is once again short for Sweet Tooth Moist Cakes, right? I love to work with gold. It's one of my favorite sprinkles to work with. And I am currently in the in the stage of revamping it so definitely stay tuned for the new and improved gold rush sprinkles to come so i'm going to use them to accessorize the cake um the intent the reason i even wanted to use these as well is because of the design that the client sent to me and when a client sends me a design i use that as inspiration to recreate i never just go and copy someone else's work um, i take what the customer would like very seriously but i also want to make sure that i add my uniqueness to it right so i'm not against anyone definitely loving one of my designs and doing the same thing i trust me i'm fine with that but when it comes to me i like to take and then be inspired by and then recreate now these gold ball toppers have like oh drastically changed my cake decorating game right they are easy to use and they just add an immense level of glamour to a cake right so i'm also going to be using roses these are not real roses i got these from one of the craft stores make sure they're nice and clean and i fluff them out fold them out so that they can have a much more elegant and full look and let me tell you when you see the final look of this cake i know you are going to smash that like button and you are definitely going to comment and say something about this cake you're maybe even going to say girl that design is absolutely amazing but go ahead continue to watch if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and if you are returning here once again i absolutely love you make sure to smash that thumbs up button for liking this video and always remember your comments are greatly appreciated because i love to respond to you guys messages don't forget to go ahead and check out the other videos on my channel how to make buttercream there are many more cake decorating videos that you can learn from and my website is there as well sweettoothmoistcake.com recipes supplies and if you would like to book a custom cake with yours truly kamisha you can also contact me through my website or through my email address which is sweettoothmoistcakes at gmail.com but thank you so much for watching i hope you have found value value in this video and I hope to I hope for sure that you will return for my next video the accessories that you see me adding on like the happy birthday topper in the gold van was created by creations by Annie here in Grand Cayman I collaborate with her for all my custom cake toppers because her work is absolutely phenomenal her work once again, I'm going to say it, her work is once again, exceptionally phenomenal. Thanks for watching and enjoy the final look of this gorgeous birthday cake. <laughs>